Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, ladies and lurkers and reformed masculinas, welcome. So I wanted to make a feminine school video on the importance of a woman giving herself a maturity makeover, a femininity makeover, or a self-esteem makeover. And I wanted to address the aggressive bullying, the amplified harassment, and the emotional violence that will often come with fat shaming particularly as it pertains to the very talented and the very accomplished and the very beautiful singer-songwriter Lizzo. But I also wanted to unpack and to give more dimension to a very triggering and a very polarizing and a very sensitive topic amongst women in general, but more specifically amongst black women. And that is the topic of obesity, being fat or overweight, or even central obesity, or having an apron belly, which is weight that is primarily carried in a woman's midsection, which will in turn affect a woman's body image in terms of having the covetable flat tummy and or the hourglass figure. And I wanted to have an honest conversation about the damaging effects that being severely overweight and obese can have on the quality of a woman's romantic dating love life. And many feathers will be ruffled in this video because simply put, there are a lot of overweight women of all nationalities in the world who are constantly having to deal with the fallout of being unfairly devalued and dismissed or being treated like a pariah for the body that they are currently living in. And I wanted to specifically unpack this topic through the feminine lens and through the lens of desirability, which in my opinion seems to be the crux of the hurt and the pain and the rejection that comes with fat shaming. And that is desirability, the male gaze, and being desired and or not desired. Now, for those of you who don't know, and for a bit of a backstory, the singer Lizzo, who is 33 years old, most recently released the visuals for her latest music single, Rumors, featuring Cardi B. And do not come for me because I personally think that this song is very average and that the lyrics to this song are pretty immature. But as always, the harassment, the humiliation, and the bullying from the keyboard gangsters and the internet predators came in full force to further break down Lizzo's spirit and her confidence, which has sparked a national conversation on bullying as the negativity has gone as far as even calling Lizzo a mammy, which is a very disrespectful trope that is used to describe plus-sized black women who are considered stripped of femininity and desirability. And these attacks once again got Lizzo in her feelings to the point where she has been openly shedding tears and having meltdowns on Instagram Live. And this has been a repetitive pattern with her on social media where Lizzo will often vacillate between having a bodacious sense of confidence and having an I don't give an F attitude to having what are commonly becoming her having these public meltdowns from the relentless harassment and the amplified hate. Now, of course, all women who have fame and who are visibly and monetarily successful will always trigger the insecurities of the insecure and will always trigger the who do you think you are mafia who seek to chop down the trees of others for blood sport. And this turned up harassment will always come with the territory of fame and living a public life. And women, no matter the size, the race, or the shade, will always be attacked and harassed for everything under the sun, for being older, for not being married, for being too successful, for being broke, for not having children, for having too many children, for not having pretty privilege, or in the black community, for being too skinny. And they will definitely be criticized for being obese and overweight. So as a woman, to be clear, there is no escape or escape hatchet from being harassed and criticized and judged as women and their self-worth will always be very harshly and very critically harpooned for profit 24-7. So even the strongest or the most resilient of women will have their days where the pick-you-apart maniacs who are online will have an effect on a woman's mental health, especially if she does not have a wellness plan in place. 
Now, when it comes to open criticism, there have been several ways that women have traditionally used to respond to the unnecessary negativity of others. Some women will respond with middle fingers up defiance. Some will respond with the strongest of defense mechanisms, including self-deception, and some will respond by allowing their mental health to be dragged by complete strangers to the point of wanting to end their own lives, which is why aggressive bullying measures are now being taken more seriously. And some women will respond by trading jabs and by going on the defense with pettiness. And some women will respond to this turned up hate by using all of the above tactics to survive the downright meanness that comes with living in a bigger body. Now, in Lizzo's case, she typically has responded to her haters and her critics and the internet hecklers with the strongest of confidence and the strongest of self-love and the strongest of defiance and rightfully so as body positive women have every right and I want you to listen carefully they have every right to be visible to have representation to be deemed as beautiful they have every right to see themselves as worthy and they have every right to see themselves as deserving of respect and let me know in the comments section below do bigger women deserve visibility and Lizzo just like any other plus size woman does not owe anyone an apology for simply existing in her own skin however and this is a huge however with pushback and with defiance will come consequences as with every defiant response will come a reaction and with every cause will come an effect so while a person is free to use the attention antics of defiance as a strategy they are not free from the consequences now defiance in music is nothing new specifically for black women who are historically as a group an unprotected class of women but black women have certainly cornered the music lane market with middle fingers up defiance it is a form of protection that we have expressed in our music which is currently the most dominant form of pop culture music but this music tends to typically lack femininity vulnerability and it can be very very immature at times and more importantly this clapback music will usually lack any kind of inner reflection mature sensuality and softness in favor of the commercial viability of what is often shocking and tasteless imagery vulgarness and middle fingers up ratchetness and these dominant tropes in music with women have sadly become a redundant stereotype but defiance, no matter what, is a defense mechanism. And the tough guy act is usually an act. And unfortunately, defiance, which is usually fueled by rebellion and challenging the status quo and wanting to be seen and heard and wanting to be visible, is usually fueled by the toxic emotion of anger. And defiance will usually require a lot of draining psychic energy and a lot of emotional upkeep and will often require a lot of emotional maintenance because with defiance comes pushback and in many cases escalating violence. And when defiance and the use of force is your only response as a woman in response to the hatred and the taunting and the bullying and the harassment, the other side or the side of opposition whether male or female, is always going to use more force and is always going to respond with harder and even tougher rebuttals. And when a woman gets caught up in the back and forth wars of criticism, it will usually cause a lot of wear and tear on her feminine divine. And this wear and tear of being defiant and combative will not only deplete you as you get older and exhaust you, but it will always put a woman on a devastating path of anxiety and depression. And this downward spiral into anxiety and depression will eventually make her want to destroy herself. As constantly having to put on war paint or boxing gloves will wear you out and strip your spirit. And even the greatest boxers of boxers who fight in the ring too long 
will overstay their welcome because fighting and being combative in the long term simply isn't emotionally healthy or sustainable. Now, in Lizzo's case, her middle fingers up approach and her defiance, whether twerking or being loud and brash or wearing skimpy clothes or dressing inappropriately in public spaces, at the age of 33, in my opinion, her defiance approach is beginning to fray and is starting to backfire and is starting to become a stance that will continue to wear away at her mental health if she doesn't begin to find new ways, personal ways of responding to the crazy making hatred of social media. And the reason why her defiance will eventually become ineffective is because of burnout as life will always force our hands to accept change, growth, and evolution for our own betterment. As we are not designed to do the same rebellious things at 33 or 35 or 41 or 48 that we are designed to do at 16, 21, 23, and 25. But when we dig our heels into responding to life with clap back energy or not evolving as a woman, it will only be you who will pay the very ugly price of being committed to remaining stuck. Now, when it comes to obesity and being overweight and being fat, what is at the emotional heart of this triggering issue when it comes to femininity, hypergamy, dating, and marriage? And some feathers will be ruffled to hear this, but at the heart of this issue, it's about desirability or the lack thereof. And when it comes to being on the bigger side, which is why I am always encouraging women through my videos to take care of their bodies, to drop their masculine ways and to get into their feminine. If they want to have a fighting chance at having hypergamous success with higher caliber men, because when women are plus sized, they are unfairly labeled as aggressive. They don't get to be petite and dainty and ladylike or rescued. And they will usually, although there are always exceptions to the rule, have very little success with attracting and sustaining relationships with high value provider and protector men who have options. And unfortunately, bigger women are normally viewed as a bargain or in many cases are treated like low hanging fruit. Now, this is not the case for all plus size women. All women can be considered low hanging fruit, but in the dating and marriage marketplace, this is a very cruel and a very frustrating reality for many plus sized women. And being overweight can also affect your fertility, as is the case with Rebel Wilson, who has been very open about her fertility struggles. But when it comes to weight and competing in the dating and the marriage marketplace, a woman will increase and improve her options when it comes to dating higher caliber men when she makes the conscious decision to make herself better on the inside and to drop the pounds. Now, at the end of the day, everyone wants to be loved and every woman wants someone to care. And as human beings, we are wired, no matter what any Grinch says, we are wired to want companionship over being single. And most women will have a hypergamous nature where they will desire to be with a man who has the ability to provide for you with his resources. And most women at some point or another will desire the pedestalized throne of womanhood and or motherhood when it comes to feeling emotionally fulfilled and having a stronger sense of completeness. And no woman wants to feel like she is losing at acquiring those things. And no woman wants to feel like she is shooting herself in the foot by damaging her chances. Now being obese or overweight is a very sticky topic. But it certainly is not a one size fits all topic because being overweight will usually come with a confluence of issues like poverty and a poor diet, or it can be a trauma response to neglect and abuse. It can be low self-esteem and low self-worth. It isn't always, or it can be a thyroid issue, or it can be poor nutrition and dehydration, or sometimes food is just a broken person's chosen vice, like any other person who has an addiction, or sometimes a person can and will abuse food because they are struggling with an emotional issue and they are either too afraid to confront it or they are not ready to face the sadness of what will come to the surface. And until an overweight or obese woman can get to the heart of her issues, she will remain where she is, happy or sad, depressed or indifferent. 
And like I've mentioned on this channel and my Instagram many times before, a woman, whatever her issue is, will only get up from the table when she is full and not a minute sooner. Now, as a solution for Lizzo or for any body positive woman who has been ridiculed, my suggestion is that you get to the root of what is eating you when you are ready and that you put yourself on a feminine wellness path of saving your own life and your own soul and your own spirit with the feminine grace of a lifestyle makeover. And it can be a wellness makeover, a self-esteem makeover, a maturity makeover, or all of the above because defiance will eventually become ineffective and you owe it to yourself and your womanhood to give yourself a better self-care plan and a stronger self-worth arsenal than defiance because at some point in the womanhood journey a woman will owe it to herself to acquire a higher level skill set when it comes to responding to ignorance and to protecting her image and her self-esteem and putting away childish things. Otherwise, you run the risk of sounding like one of those manosphere idiots who refuse to get a bag to look into their own mirrors by choosing to regressively uh, wear baseball caps, dirty braids, and saggy jeans at the age of 50. So that is all that I have to say on this for now. If you are a body positive woman, you are worthy of visibility and you are worthy of respect and your motivation to lose weight should be entirely up to you, not to the masses as you are the only person who can look into your own mirror and decide for yourself what will be your standard and what will be acceptable for you. So ladies and lurkers, has Lizzo earned the negativity that she is receiving with her behavior? Is her confidence real or is it fake? Is there a time and a place to act ratchet or should people just mind the business that pays them? And as always, I look forward to reading your amazing comments below and stay tuned for more feminine school videos to come. And I will catch up with you ladies and lurkers in the next one.